What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can use if and else statements in JavaScript. And let's get started immediately by going to our editor. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a variable which is called text, and that's going to equal hello. Then we are going to actually create the check, which is going to be an if statement. So if we just type in if, and inside here we need to insert a statement that either returns true or false. And this will determine whether the logic inside the block gets executed. So we're just gonna type if the text is equal to hello, then we want the logic inside this block to be executed. So we'll just type in log hello with an exclamation mark. And if we click on save, you'll notice that the code inside there gets executed and we get hello back. But let's add another statement. So else if the text is not equal to hello, we can write if the text is instead equal to goodbye, then we can go ahead and write log see you later. Now it's still going to only execute this because right now the text currently corresponds to hello. But if we decide to change it to goodbye and click on save, you'll notice that we'll get the text that says see you later. That is because it went through the first check and since it failed, it returned false, it decided to go ahead and check if the next check was correct. And since this returned true, we got the log of the console of see you later. But now let's pretend the user writes something that doesn't make sense at all, that the program does not recognize. So this is where we can include the else statement. And this is pretty much the final check it can make. So in case these two fail, we're just going to log, I couldn't understand your message. Now, if we go ahead and type something like one, two, three, or whatever number that is, you'll notice that the program will say, I couldn't understand your message. So, so far we created a very simple chatbot just using if and else statements. And that's just a very basic explanation on how this works. Of course, you can insert numbers here. You can check whether numbers are bigger or smaller. And in case something happens, you can add as many else and if statements as you want. It doesn't just have to be one. You can also add another one here and finish it off with else, of course. Something like that. But of course you need to insert a statement in here, such as text equals, how are you? Then inside here we can write good inside here. And we can put the other console log down here. So now we effectively have an extra phrase we can check. So now if we go ahead and insert the text of how are you here, you'll notice that the bot will respond good. But now I want to go ahead and show you a shortened version of this, which they call the Elvis operator in most languages. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. And we're just gonna create a var that's named age and it's going to have the value of 20. Then right below, we're gonna create another var which is named drink. And this is going to be a check. So it's gonna check if the age is more or equal to 18, for example, then we can return the string of beer, which is an alcoholic beverage. Otherwise, we can go ahead and return the string of juice. And then when we go ahead and log this and insert drink, you should notice that we will get the response of beer because age is more than or equal to 18, which means they are old enough to have beer. Otherwise, if we change the age to something such as 14, you'll notice it will return juice. So it returns the first statement if it is true and it returns the second if it is false. So all we had to do here is add a question mark and a colon, and this saved us a lot of time because it's very clean syntax and it looks really good. And it's very fast when you are coding very simple if else statements. But that's actually all I wanted to explain in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.